Hello, this is Piffy Builder 88 back for another episode of Fishing Resort Wii Post Commentary. Next episode will not be post commentary, and it's already recorded, so all I have to do is really edit it. But, um, yeah. So that's gonna be cool. Anyway, I will see you guys once we make it to the fishing. started out by literally going to the aquarium in Taman Paradise Beach because I went to Taman Paradise Beach. <laughs> um, but there's some stuff that we can do here that's pretty cool. Um, and that is buy a bunch of enclosures for our fish. Um, at some point I'm gonna finish buying every single one because it is definitely required to do that to 100% the game. And yeah, so I'm just buying some of them, like upgrading some and buying some and doing all kinds of stuff. Of course, not doing too much. I don't. I think I I make it to this point where I I don't spend all my money. <laughs> but I don't remember. I don't remember what I did. I probably just spent a bunch of it. <laughs> um, but. Yeah, if it was too expensive, I probably didn't spend it. And I went to B1, which is oceans, and then there's B2, once. Anyway, interior. So yeah, at some point, we'll be upgrading all of them. Actually, I went back because I wanted to look at B2, see if I could upgrade anything in here. And I could, so that's what I did. <laughs> yeah. And just like that, we unlocked every area at least. <laughs> and now we went back to this tackle shop. And I bought some stuff here. Because we got. S oh, yeah. I bought the large to extra large rod. Yeah. And I also got the really, really strong extra large reel. Which is pretty awesome. Um, so, yeah. Anyway. Then I. Once I press A, there we go. We bought them. <laughs> it's good things to buy, though. But it costs so much. It was 50000 That's crazy. Anyway, now we got those. And, yeah. Pretty cool. I don't know what I was going to plan to do with them at this moment. But... Yeah, because then I just went back to my hamstring <laughs> and wanted to make sure that it was actually medium size. Anyway, so let me just skip past all this so that we can get to the actual fishing. So I also bought a bunch of quick hitter and now that we're doing new fish, we're going to try and catch the Ocellaris clownfish because for some reason I wasn't able to catch it before is they're so tiny. That little speck right there, see that? That's it. That's the Ocellaris Clownfish. And now, we caught it. <laughs> Just like that, it took like two seconds. Ocellaris Clownfish, done. And it's point three feet. So, yeah, lovely. Anyway, now we got the porcupine fish, which is actually a password fish. So you have to type in the password before you can even find it. But it's really cool. I like the porcupine fish a lot. So now, I think it's on the golden cliff. Yeah, you go on the golden cliff. And right here, you can actually see them swimming around. They're kind of thin, 
when you look at them just because of the way I could tell it was a puffer fish because of its body shape but they're usually not inflated until you catch them because that's when they're like they see that you're a predator and they want you to just not kill them <laughs> so yeah very interesting Otherwise known as the porcupine fish. And yeah, it's a little password fish that's pretty great. And with that, we caught the porcupine fish. And our next fish. Oh, well, actually, I, I did this. So, <laughs> now you can see the Ocellar's clownfish in its full glory as we cash it in for points. And that's what the porcupine fish when it looks like when it's swimming. It's kind of thinner. So just keep that in mind when you're trying to catch that fish. But yeah. I think next. Yep, I actually managed to catch the multicolor rainbow fin. No, uh, the multicolor fin rainbow, actually. But yeah. It's as. Um, okay. Fishing Zart Wee Wiki says you have to fish for it blind. I found it. I actually saw it swim up. And I caught it. See that little fish right there? I think it's that one. Yeah, it's that one. So that one is the fish. It's actually really easy to catch once you know what you're looking for. So, so yeah. Because they can just be swimming in the water. I spent a while trying to find it because I was just, like, fishing for a blind. But yeah, there it is. Caught the multicolor rainbow fin. Um, multicolor fit and rainbow, I mean. But yeah, don't listen to Wiki all the time. Because sometimes they're wrong. And make sure to look in the comments. <laughs> Small scale blackfish. This one is pretty easy to find. I, I think I caught it on the Golden Cliff. Yeah, I did. It's, um, it's really easy to find. See that? That's it. That's the black skip. <laughs> yeah, the small scale blackfish or something like that anyway yeah so now we're reeling it in but yeah just make sure to look in the comments in fishing resort wiki if you ever decide to go there because sometimes the articles that people put are not really true because it's just a public wikipedia where anyone can post stuff so yeah just, just make sure you got it all right, because, because that multicolor rainbow fin is very hard to fish for when it's blind. So you can just literally see it in the water, and then you can catch it, which makes it way better. It makes it way easier and a lot more fun to catch it. Because there's, I don't think there is actually a single fish that you can catch that is blind that is required to do that, unless you're trolling. In that case, that makes sense, but, but overall, <laughs> yeah, overall, it shouldn't be like that. So, we got this small-scale blackfish, look at that, da 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 da, small-scale blackfish caught for the first time, and with that, we caught it. <laughs> and we ranked up the amateur rank one. <laughs> uh, lovely. Now. Oh yeah. So that's the multicolor rainbow fin. And yeah. And a small scale blackfish. Look at how many points we just got from that. That's crazy. And what was our next thing we had to do? Oh yeah. We're going to move to the next area. I forgot exactly where I went. I think it was probably, uh... So I went to Dwaribu Lake. Just for a bit. Ah, 
And with that transition into the lakes, <laughs> it's just literally just to make it into this area. And then after doing that, to go back to the map and go even farther up. And I think, all right, so I went to Curricul River. Okay, what did I catch in Curricul River? Oh yeah, now I remember. Um, I was editing this earlier, so I kind of lost track of what I did, but at the same time thought I already did it. Um, but yeah, so, here we go. We got some quests here to complete. And so, I talked to that guy, but it doesn't really matter that much. Um, what am I doing? So now, we got this. And we can get a bicycle for 20 points. Of course, if I were to go to the map, like I just did, then immediately I get off the bike. <laughs> so, well, that was useless. Um, and there's bunnies! These are bunnies. These are little fluffies. I, I just, I couldn't resist. I had to take a picture of them. They're all over the place. Look at all these bunnies. <laughs> Look at them. Hopping around. <laughs> oh man. Bunny. There you are. I don't know what I was doing. Take a picture. <laughs> bunny. <laughs> so yeah. An even better picture of a bunny. And then we got our sped up footage of me walking all the way even though I could teleport but there's this guy and this guy I already talked to last video but I'm just refreshing my mind on what I had to do so I have to go upstream and in the upstream area is his assistant and you have to talk to his assistant but this isn't the assistant this is a different guy so so basically this guy is trying to catch a uh, McGoy for his girlfriend and so you have to try and catch a McGoy for him and then once you catch McGoy and take it uh, well you have to take it to her so so yeah get a McGoy and get it to her because she'll be near the campfire she wasn't there before but now she is for some reason so yeah now we run across that bridge go to these, uh, this area, all the rocks, and there's this guy. And this guy is a salmon lover, and you talk to him and tell him about how he, he wants to catch some fresh salmon here, but you can't really find any salmon here, yeah, except for Japanese salmon, but that's not really what he's looking for. He's looking for, like, sockeye salmon and stuff like that. So, he basically... He's like, oh, I'm at the wrong river. And he's like, thanks for the info. And, well, by talking to him, you just completed that quest. <laughs> so, yeah. So now we completed that quest very easily. And then there's one more. I don't know why I went into my book. Come on. You don't have to show everything. So I guess I was just refreshing my mind is there's this guy right here and um, this is the guy's assistant so he, he's really easily startled he's like don't stake off on me I'm like I didn't I'm right here <laughs> anyway so so he <clears throat> sorry he's saying that you need to like he, he's he can't find any fish he's supposed to research some fish and he can't find any fish because it is so dark and he's afraid for his life and he doesn't want to be fired so he's asking you can you please help me catch some fish so I can use it to not get fired and he needs a rainbow trout um so upstream They're really easy to catch so yeah 
But now, here we go. If if we can, if you can press A myself, press A. I can't. I have no control because it's post commentary. I can, I can edit this out if I really wanted to, but I'd rather just do that. Anyway, catch a rainbow trout. Start. So now I I sped this up. Went to this area of really cool waters and woods. Look at that shading though. It's so cool. For a Wii game, it's really great. Um, but then we find the rainbow trout. Which we... Oh man, did I really catch an S? That's pretty good. Here we go. Show. We cached line and immediately there's a bite and we reel it in <laughs> I'm just like uh, this it's probably a new fish so I'm just gonna catch it and that's why I went ahead and I I took the bait well I well not took the bait I took the line I hooked the fish <laughs> and now I will wait uh, well, actually, I, I'll talk to you guys once this is done being caught. Just like that, we caught ourselves an S rainbow trout. That is pretty cool. Rainbow trout caught for the first time. S. <laughs> it's freaking awesome. But yeah, so now we got a rainbow trout. Yeah. And now we have to report our catch to the guy. But first, we have some more fish to catch. So we go ahead, and the next fish is a brook trout. And we catch it in the same spot we caught the rainbow trout. And I just decide, they all look the same pretty much, so let's just suck one. <laughs> oh, you can slightly tell the difference between a brook trout and a rainbow trout. It seems like there's only brook trout and rainbow trout in this one area. So, yeah. That's why... Go ahead and we catch this brook trout. And, um. Yeah, let's see. We got this brook trout right here. New catch, brook trout. Frock caught for the first time. Awesome. And now, we go to the next fish. Let's see what we got. There's that guy with periwinkle hair. <laughs> oh yeah, it's a brown trout. Yeah. And I managed to catch two. And the second one was an S, which is pretty awesome. But yeah. So. We cashed the line. And. Maybe. And there we go. Just like that, we got ourselves a brook trap. As long as we reel it in. But the thing is, with this video, I make it to this point where I catch every single bit of it on footage. And I'm like, yeah, this is going really well. I'm, I'm catching this brown trout. It's really cool. Of course, I didn't know it was a brown trout, but then suddenly this starts to happen. The video starts to glitch. So, that's why I moved. After a long time, I managed to unglitch it <laughs> by cutting the video and then recording once my Elgato was fine again. And yeah, brown trout. Brown trout. Caught for the first time. And it's all nice and not glitched anymore. What was I catching here, though? What was it that I was catching here? Oh yeah, the Magoy. So, I go ahead and I try to catch this Magoy. And 
Just like that, I sped it up. <laughs> and this Magoi is required for that quest. You have to catch it in this river. So, so now we caught a Magoi. Another one, that is. But yeah, it's our third Magoi in that save file. And yeah, now you can go ahead, caught Magoi, report, it'll deliver it to the girlfriend. So then I, I went ahead and I caught another fish, and that was the yes, brown trout. Yeah. Awesome. So we caught our S brown trout. <laughs> and voila. And next we got the Japanese salmon. So once we caught this, I think we pretty much caught every fish so far that we've caught in this area. Um so yeah, Japanese salmon. And now, we go ahead, reel it in slowly but surely. Japanese salmon caught for the first time. And just like that, got ourselves an A Japanese salmon. Um, but what did I do next? I think I sped up. I talked to this guy thinking I needed to give him the fish, but no, his girlfriend's at the campfire, so I have to go give her the fish. But anyway, I was on the path, and then I decided to teleport, go back here. There she is. She's right here. And she's like, okay, I'll do this. So now that I can finally give it to her, the quest is completed. And now we go to the curricular waterfall as I sped this up. And actually, I, I had to go just one flag down because I needed to talk to this assistant again. And he's like, ah, it's just you. Okay. And he's like, you scared me again. And he's like, oh, you caught a rainbow trout. And... And he's like, yay, I'm not fired. And so now, you did that. You have to go back and report to the boss. Because he can't freaking move for some reason. And, and guess what? Now we can talk to this guy. And, should be done. Look at that. We just completed all the quests in Curricula River. And now, we can move on once again. Although, actually, I think I do a few more things. But yeah, see, look at that. Finished all of them. But actually, I think I, I bought some... I bought some lures. So, yeah. Just because I wanted to show you which lures I bought. I was trying to figure out which lures I needed to get a prehistoric fish. And I think I needed a swimming lure, and it was like the sky blue one. Let's see, which one? Keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep going, myself. Keep going. Oh, come on, you're so close. <laughs> there it is. Sky blue glow. So, sky blue glow. And then there's, um... I think, uh... I think I needed the white spinner. Da, 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 da. There it is. So... Bought the white spinner and the sky blue glow, and I got a bunch more quick hitter. Um, and yeah. And of course now I'm doing this, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> so I need to be able to do the lure thing. And yeah. And just like that, this episode is finally over. So I will see you guys next time for another fishing resort Wii video.